We are about to leave for an estate sale. Say hi. Everyone loved chatting with you. Cool, I like talking with people too. <laughs> what are you looking for? American girl. Bears? Oh, are you doing bears now? This is exactly what I look like all the time, right here. We have a pleasant company, Samantha. Good morning, it's morning for me. It is about 10 o'clock. We are about to leave for an estate sale. We are renovating the shop right now. It's like, I hate being out of the shop right now with all that we have to do. We're getting ready for a virtual doll convention event and we're doing so many amazing things, but there's an estate sale that's 15 minutes away that is supposed to be completely full of dolls, price to sell, cash only, which is the only thing that I'm like, mm, that's kind of, mm. but, I put cash in my purse and we're going to go and see. We'll see if they're actually priced to sell and see if there's anything and see if they allow filming, you know, fingers crossed. And Paul's going to be here in a minute. He's going to go with me and we're going to do all that. And then we're going to take you to the shop and give you a little update there. So don't mind the industrial size Captain Crunch and the other things that are on top of my fridge because I'm a normal person and we put groceries on top of our fridge. I have a small kitchen. All right, Paul is going to be here in about two minutes. I'm going to make a coffee and we're going to go. I also forgot to mention that Holland and Diane is going too. Because we do everything together, don't we, honey girl? Say hi. Do we do everything together? Are we besties? Yes. She's like, oh, get me out of here, you you imbecile. I want to go to the estate sale. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're going to go get her and we're, uh, yeah, we're going to go pull out. Paul's probably pulling up right now, so see you in a minute. So funny, I actually just remembered that I have to go get the cash. So I'm gonna get the cash. And uh, one thing to note is that I am not getting there before it opens and sitting in the line like I did on that Barbie sale or anything, because there's nothing there that I care about that much. I'll show you some pictures right now of, of what is shown with the baby and everything. Like if I was by myself, maybe. I'm hoping there's things there that were not in the photos for me. For me, I'm not saying it's a bunch of junk or a bunch of stuff that somebody wouldn't want, but for me and my purposes and the huge amount of inventory I already have, I'm hoping there's some things that are not shown that I might want to use for the merchandising that we're doing in the shop, for selling in our shop, for my own personal purchases, like whatever. So we're going to get there about 1030 and it opens at 10. And if there's like a line and they're letting people in, I don't know what I'm going to do because we're not going to stand out there, but I'm planning on holding Holland in a little pack. All right, Paul's here. Okay. Morning, Paul. Hi. Hey, you know what? We already have a thousand views on our video that we did. Let's, oh, really? let's walk and talk. Everyone loved chatting with you. Cool. I like talking with people too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good. Tongue good. Tied. Yeah, tongue tied. It's easy to get that way. So we just got to the estate sale. We've got Holland Diane. Don't worry, we're not walking very far without her hat. Uh, and we're going to go in and hopefully find some stuff. Now, the, the thing with this sale is it's cash only. And I have some cash and I know you do too. Yep. Now, here's the thing. We're just gonna go and we're gonna be stealth mode. We're gonna try not to draw attention to ourselves, which is kind of hard to do when you have a baby strapped to your chest, but we're gonna try to just be like undercover, but we need to bring our YouTube friends with us. I hope there's some American Girl dolls for you. I hope so too. Okay. It'd be cool if I can find some. All right, we're walking up right now. So, shh, we're gonna be, there's a lot of cars here, but we're gonna be undercover, if that is at all a thing for me at a, at a doll event. But let's try it. Okay, here's the entrance. We're gonna go in and see if we can, see if we can do this. Yeah. All right, let's find something. I hope we do. Hi, this is my favorite doll that I'm wearing right now. All right, doll people coming through. It's, there's a lot of doll people here. It's hard to, hard to kind of move around. As a reseller, the prices are borderline. But there are some good deals. And we are looking for diamonds in the rough, needles in the haystack, right? All right, Paul, got your eyes open? Yep. What are you looking for? American girl, right? Bears? 
Oh, are you doing bears now? I've always, I've always done bears. Oh, you have? Oh, and let's look at bears. Okay, this now's the time, Paul. As soon as you walk in, you gotta, you gotta just get grab what you like. And well, there. say say hi. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you want her picture, not mine. Oh no, no. We love we love pictures. So hey, thank you for the, yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. So yeah, if this if this this is a really well made yeah. reproduction, right. and if it was an antique, that would be a deal. But she's a reproduction. We have a hard we we like reproductions, but we also have a hard time selling them. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, really pretty made reproductions. There's some really sweet teddy bears. The prices are still too high though, for me to be purchasing. So the prices are about consistent with what they might sell for. Maybe? Any teddy bears that are eyeing you, that you're eyeing? Not quite yet. Not quite yet, okay. All right, well keep your eyes open. Oh, kitty car cases. Oh, they must be gone. Yeah, kittle, kittle. It must be gone. You know, that's the risk you take. All right, let's try in here. See what's going on here. It's a bunch of fun little miniatures. All right, so I can see her from here and we'll just go ahead and put our opinion there. This is an open mouth Jumeau and she's $1,900. She's very sweet, she's very sweet. Now this is a really fun estate sale. There's a lot of different little interesting things. If you want to come for a fun little thing, oh, Daniel would like that cabbage patch doll. Um, so many cute things, but we're not gonna, I don't think we're gonna be buying anything. Anything sticking out at you, Paul? Not, not quite, quite yet. yet, no American Girls yet. There's something that I didn't see in the photos. What do you think, Holly and Diane? Are we going to an estate sale? I just made the connection. You're Rachel. Check. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I am. Hi. I had just recognized you as I came back oh. down the stairs. So, oh, yeah. We're yeah. just doing an adventure today. No, Fun to stop by and get out of the shop. Looking for something. Something we might need. Find something, Paul? You found a fish? See if Holland likes it. Holland wants a fish? You want a fish, honey? Nope. Nope? No, she loves, she loves colorful things. Okay, so on this collector's guides, this right here, the Coleman. Oh, yeah! You saw Paul on YouTube. So I'm not gonna buy this, but if this is $3, this is a really, really good deal. The Coleman Encyclopedia of Dolls. These are about a hundred dollars online, and there's volume. There's two right here, so snag them. You want to get it? You go, girl. Yes. And do you want the other one? No. There's two. Yeah, there's two. If they're only three dollars, you better get those. I have two, and I have two or three sets of them, so I don't. But but the Coleman Encyclopedia of Dolls is definitely a good find. Oh, Sister Bean is getting a little. A little antsy. Let's turn it around. How about that, Paul? You got you got recognized from your video. That's oh, good. Okay. That's fun. Yeah. All right, here's some Barbies. Ten okay, so ten dollars each on the collector Barbies is not is good. That's actually not a not a bad price. That's not a bad price. So far, the best deal has been the Coleman Encyclopedia, which I am glad that somebody snapped up. All right, I think Sister Sam. Get me out of here. All right, Paul, let's go. Good morning or afternoon or wherever time it is that you're watching this. It's day three of the estate sale. I am in my car. It is Saturday and everything at the estate sale is today 50% off. Now, normally I wouldn't go back because I've been, there wasn't anything like I had to have, but I want to see, I'm just curious. Like I want to see how much of it is still there, how much of it has sold and just kind of get a pulse and a vibe for... I don't know what's going on. It inspires me to maybe have an estate sale at the doll shop <laughs> because I have enough inventory to literally have an estate sale and there was a lot of people there. So that's all very good. That's all very inspiring. So Derek has Holland Diane. I have been away from Holland Diane maybe a total of like since she was born eight hours total to get my hair done 
and to the dentist and that's like it and i love having my sweet girl but it's also kind of fun just to be like whoa it's i just, i get to just like go it almost feels like a, a, a hall pass or something so i'm gonna go do that and then we're gonna come back so we'll see if it uh, what is left i'm, I'm curious because i want to know what's selling and 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 what what kind of the echelon is because for me i felt the prices were high but if they're selling for that much it's very curious when i usually list things that are like like the similar type things i usually list them on our ebay account and i start everything at a dollar and so sometimes things go really high sometimes they don't and i just kind of let the market dictate what people want to pay for it because that's that's what it boils down to you can't open a book and say a 16 inch doll handwork this character whatever you know what I'm trying to say? You can't, you can't just say it sells for 400. Now you can look in a book and it can kind of give you a little bit of direction, but things go up and down. Prices are, they change a lot and it depends on the condition. It depends on so many factors. It depends on what the clothing uh, is on the doll, the condition of the body. The clothing is a big thing. One of the things that I noticed at this estate sale, like with that Jumeau is the Jumeau. First of all, it was an open mouth Jumeau, which is not as sought after as a closed mouth Jumeau and it was a very late Jumeau. So not newer as far as Jumeaux go. And she was wearing newly made. And when we say newly made, that could be any, anything from the 1950s and newer when you're, when you're talking about a very old antique doll and she was wearing newly made clothing. Now, if that same doll was in an antique dress with antique shoes and antique everything, that would increase the price. But when I'm looking at a doll that is wearing none of those things, I basically am pricing it as if it were naked because it would it would probably get the same price anyway. Sometimes they sell even better naked because sometimes if the dress is not becoming to the doll, it detracts from the beauty of the doll. So if you're ever selling a doll and the outfit's just not fabulous, sell them separate. Not always, but it, that's one of the things that, that I do all the time is I'll get something and, and if the outfit doesn't fit or if it doesn't look good, we sell them, we will sell it separate. So we're, let's go back and see, right? Let's just go back and see. Let's see if that Jameau is still there just out of curiosity and some of the other things. And a lot of those Madame Alexanders in the basement, those are hard to sell <laughs> because there's so many around, so many on the market. It's just saturated. So when I had a bunch of those, I actually gave them to our local auction house and they just auctioned them off. And that actually worked really, really well for me. I was able to just unload a lot of things that I, I couldn't sell myself. And I actually did quite well. It helped pay for the roof two years ago when, when we did that. So anyway, anyway, I'm getting off into the weeds. We're, let's go check it out. It's 15 minutes from my house. I just kind of, we gotta see, we gotta see. I'm going to be a little bit more undercover because the first time we went, I could barely film anything. Now I'm not going to film a ton either because I don't want to be rude and I don't want to be making anybody uncomfortable. And so that's why I, I didn't get a ton of footage because it, people want to shop they don't want to be on camera they don't want to hear me and i think <laughs> you know what i mean i just want to i want to really be respectful of everybody of the estate sale of the people that are attending the estate sale of everything i, I never want my filming and my videos and stuff to to make anybody uncomfortable so that's why i didn't get that much footage in, in the first in the first pass and in the second pass i might not get that much footage either but we're gonna at least go take some pictures at the very minimum and we'll see and I'll get some clips and then we'll have like a closing thing. And then after this, you're going to see footage of what we did at the doll shop and Paul's new American girl doll haul. So stick around for that. All right, let's go. Okay. I just pulled up. There's a lot of people here again. They're already in the garage, like getting everything. I think I'm going to wear sunglasses and a mask. Now I'm not trying to be weird. Like I kind of want to, I tr truly want to be undercover. It was so nice to see and chat with a lot of the uh, wonderful people that were here when we first came and they and we chatted and caught up about a lot of things but i truly don't i want to be undercover now is that weird if i go in with like this and a mask and no baby am i going to be am i going to be recognized and how am i going to film okay we're just gonna we're just gonna do this together now i'm not trying to do anything battered or strange 
but I want to take you with me and I want to do this together and I don't want to draw attention to ourselves. I guess we're just going to play it by ear and see how it goes. All right, let's go. It's so weird going somewhere without Paul and Diane. I think I need to have this like once a week or so. Just, just set up a time where she does chill with Derek for maybe half a day or something so I can just go and just do stuff. I love her so much and I love being a mom more than anything. And it's just never a problem. I never get, I never get sick of her. I, I've never gotten overwhelmed. I've never, it's a ton of work. Don't get me wrong on that. But it's never been like, I never felt a want or a need to ever be away from her at all. And with that, it is kind of freeing right now just to be, just to be Rachel. Just to get into the car, go somewhere, walk around. Like I'm just Rachel right now. All right, we're pulling up. I better put the phone away. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so I'm in the main room where there was tons of stuff on Thursday and it's like all sold. Look at this, look at this. And I also asked if we could film, so now it's not as weird. It's, I am shocked and, and it's, it's a good thing because it means that the market is alive and well. It's alive and well, everybody. This is wild, really. Do you remember this room? This is where the Jamo was and a couple of the other dolls. And they're gone. And th this whole room was full of miniatures. People came from Chicago. They came from all over. It's all gone. Wow. Now, I'm not going to buy this. The Marie. It's the Marie 101. Reproduction, but... At $25, she is super well made. Like she's actually beautifully done. And just the bodies on these reproduction dolls are very expensive. The bodies, when you retail buy them, they're like $100 just in themselves, just in the bodies. So that's where a lot of the dolls are a very good deal. Even if you don't love the head, you can use the body for your own purposes. Like, look, this one right here is 15, so it's half of that. But again, you can use the body if you don't love the head. So that's a good deal. So I have all of these at half off are a good deal, but I have tons of them at my shop, so I'm not gonna buy any today. But if I needed them, you know, I might buy a few. Look at the little props, the little chairs. The chairs are less than $10 a piece, that's cute. If I needed this stuff, I'd be snapping up all of it though. The chairs and things like that. Look, the bookshelf is only $15. That's cute. That's almost tempting, but then I have to haul it out of here. Okay, we're back in the basement. Again, I am super impressed with everything that has been sold. This has been an amazing sale. It's so much of it is gone to new homes. It's like so great. And there's a ton of people here. This is very inspiring. It is so, so good. At these kind of prices, you can just stock up on everything. Hey. Hi. Hi. Cute bag. Just you today? Just me today. I get a just me, just me today. Look, box stuff and be dolls, $10 each, but they're half off, so they're $5. A lot of these Alexanders, they're all, mostly all gone. So there's a lot of holiday decor, a lot of good deals. A lot of good deals. And a lot of those uh, holiday Barbies are still here and at $5, that's a really good deal. Now, I'm not trying to make you feel bad that you're not here because by the time this airs, this estate sale is going to be over, but it's supposed to basically be just kind of a survey of what's happening at an estate sale and with dolls and what's going on out there. But these are all a really, really good deal. <laughs> City shopper. I wish the picture of the doll was on the back so you didn't have to open it up. All right, before I leave, I'm going to get a closer look at these ones on the couch. That one right there, 
has a really great wig. She's got a good wig. It's a little, it's a cute little French doll. It's a D.E.P. Oh, it's a D.E.P. Okay, that's, okay, thank you. That Patsy's in good condition. It's a cute little tea set. That's a cute little bear. It's got a cute box. Look at that box. Oh, yeah. It's a heavy bear. Oh yeah, cute. All right, well, a lot of the dolls in here are still here. But that miniature room, man, it was empty. Maybe they moved some of them around, but congratulations to the organizers of this estate sale, though, because you guys have moved so much stuff. It's actually quite inspiring. It's very inspiring. So let's take a deeper dive here. Look at this cute little wrestler. It's a reproduction, but she's cute. And at 50% off, she'd be $7.50. That's a fun little one to sew for. Reproductions on this shelf, but there's they're fun dolls to sew for, for sure. Now at half off, it's it's a lot more fun because it's more like a treasure hunt because you can look at something and say, okay, I could do that. This armoire, if you needed a little green something. So I, I'm not gonna buy any reproduction dolls, but they are a very good deal if you wanted one. Patsy's sweet. She's got a little bit of paint loss, but at that price, here, let me put my glasses away. Even with the paint loss, because you can work with that. Look at the scoodles. How much is this? Okay. Is it a hundred? That doesn't look like their price tag. Their price tags are orange, but that's cute. Okay. 65. So scoodles would be about what? 3250. That's a real that's a good deal. That's a good deal for a scoodles. And there's some china heads. Some china heads, you know, you could work on to kind of do stuff with. The kitty car classics, those all sold on the first day. Some little miniature cases. Everything at half off is a very good deal today. We didn't really get to step into here yesterday. But again, a bunch of really great good deals. But I spoke to the organizers and they said they sold almost everything on the first day, which is so great. You'll love playing mommy with me, the original mommy doll. Okay, we gotta see what this is. Let's see what the mommy doll is. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. This is exactly what I look like all the time, right here. <laughs> oh, I love her full hair though, but she's got the mom haircut because it's nice and short so the baby doesn't pull on it. My hair is nice and long and beautiful right now. It grew out a lot during my pregnancy. But Holland likes to, to grab onto it. So look at this, out for fun. Okay, that's what we always look like on the go. To be honest, that's usually what we look like. And off to work, definitely not what we always look like. <laughs> we pretty much look like we look, that's that's usually work. Unless we film for YouTube and get dressed up and we're doing something a little special, but that's kind of fun. How much is this? I don't know why. I don't know why I like it, but I do. Let's see how much it is. 15, so it's 750, but it's huge. I kind of want it though. Now, if you ever need to stock your kitchen, there's always, it's always a good idea to go to the kitchen area of an estate sale because man, you can get all the things you need for a kitchen for like very, very little. Like for instance, if you needed a blender, oops, or some to-go cups for coffee. I don't know how much this is, but it's probably not even $5. So that's, that's a good deal or if you wanted some riced cauliflower. Do you guys ever eat riced cauliflower? Oh, it's still good too. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Okay, going home, still empty handed because, not because they weren't good deals. You saw the, all the fun things and I know there's probably a lot of things that you would have purchased if you were with me, but I have so much of the same stuff. Now, congratulations to the organizers of this estate sale because I would have been off in my pricing. They said just a huge majority of all the miniatures and things sold on the first day and people came from out of town and everything. That's awesome. You know, we love to see that. If I had come back and everything was still here, that's not what I would have hoped for, for anybody. I think it's fantastic. People are out buying, 
people are selling, there's activity. It's great. And people are having fun. They're having fun in their doll collecting. They're, they're getting out and they're buying stuff. So this is all good. Thank you to the organizers for allowing me to film. This was fun. All right, so we're gonna check in and just do a quick check-in at the doll shop, show you a little bit of what we're doing there. And then you're gonna chat with Paul and see a couple of the new dolls to his American Girl collection that he's been building. He has like a hundred of them already. He's going crazy. And I'm gonna get back home right now and go see my haul in Diane. And let Derek go to work. I'm gonna work from home today. And then I'm working at the shop tomorrow. Today's my first day not at the shop in 15 days. Not a bad thing, but it, it'll feel good to be able to just get a lot of stuff done at home, kind of recoup a little bit. So, okay, see you at the shop. Good job, Paul. Getting it done. Getting it done. Yep. We're getting it done. So what we're doing right now is moving this case right here. We're gonna be moving it down to the center of the store and filling it with Stife and teddy bears and all kinds of wonderful plushies and everything like that. So that's gonna be tons of fun. We're organizing right here. Got a lot of stuff to put into storage and to organize. And then look at our, look at our Elowins and Graces table. This is going to be done in a case that's in our new gallery which is gonna be so good. Look at how many there are. Get it, girls. So many, so fun. I'm just gonna show you just a little peek. We have so many fun things. I can't wait for John Port to get here so we can film with him, learn about a lot of these wonderful, wonderful Disney characters. Little plushies, stuffed animals. We're gonna put a little show and hut tent up there with filled with all kinds of show and head animals and it's just gonna be so amazing. In honor of Robert's birthday, we are unearthing some of our cool Tonner stuff from the archive, starting with this mug. And all of our girls are waiting to get in the showcase that we are building for them. So super, super exciting. Happy 70th, Robert. Well, we have been working so hard, we've barely been able to film, but we have tons and tons and tons of boxes. Hey, Paul. Hi. Hey, over there, we've been getting through some of them, and they're all modern type dolls, which is going to be super fun. And we found some American Girl dolls. So Paul is working off half of his paycheck this week, went to dolls, which I think a lot of people out there can understand. Sometimes. They really Hopefully they relate. Yeah, I think that they do. Uh, we'd almost rather just have dolls than anything. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, how you feel? Dolls are great. Yeah, dolls are great. So what do, what do we have here? We have a Pleasant Company Samantha. Okay. Samantha Parkington. Oh, oh, we have a delivery. Okay, so this is our snack for our box for next month. It is kettle corn, which is super fun. Okay, so where were we? Let's get back to the dolls. Oh, we have some outfits too. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is, uh, Felicity's. Felicity. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Felicity. Gosh, the She's catalogs like, are just so cute. Yeah. Well, these are the catalogs. These are the actual books. These are what came with the doll. Yeah, because these these historical dolls, they tell, you know, they have a story. They have a family. They they're oh, in awesome. different time periods. Um, where's Felicity? She is from. Book one, 19, 1774. Wow. Is so this is like a great way to get education on history. Yeah. And Samantha, she's from 1904. And her story is really, her, I really like her story for what she goes through and what she has to do. Different things in Molly. She's actually up there, but she doesn't, she doesn't have any, her outfit on right now. But yeah. So we had found the dolls and they're right over here and they were nude. And what, what we're really on the hunt for is some white body dolls, but these ones are at least in very good condition, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And all all three of these are Pleasant Company. They're pre-Mattel, you know, because if you look at all three of them, they'll all say Pleasant Company right in the back. The newer ones uh, say American Girl. Oh, okay. And there's okay. American Girl LLC, and then there's just American Girl. But then there's Pleasant Company before American Girl. So, and then before this comes the white bodies. Yeah. At least so from what I know. When you look for them out in the world, look for the white bodies. Yeah. 
And not the arms or the legs, just the, the torso. The torso. The torso has got to be all white. Yes. I saw pictures of those today as we were researching these dolls. But if you find ones with pleasant come here on the back, those are the nicer ones. That's what we're looking ones. for. Yeah. Well, congratulations on your little doll haul, Paul. Thank you. That's yeah. exciting. And before the stores came around, you can order out of the magazines. I just love catalogs. Catalog. I wish we could... Get outfits and... I know. It's just... It's a lot of paper and a lot, a tremendous amount of time and writing the copy and taking the pictures, mm -hmm. which actually we do for our yeah, website. But man, I haven't, I haven't had it. It would be fun to actually put together a, a catalog. It's like a lost art. That's mm -hmm. gorgeous. It is. I love her outfit. I love the catalog. Neat. All types of them. There's different years. There's a 1998 version, 1995. And this is a Molly me outfit. It's, Samantha's wearing her me outfit. She's, she's missing a hat, but I don't imagine. Cool. Stocking, but even got her little charm. The picture of her parents, if you know the story, spoiler alert. There's a picture of her, her mother and her father in, in the in the brooch or in the little medallion thing. Yeah. You're gonna do a lot of homework and get your dolls all displayed because we're gonna do a program with you for the virtual convention. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, so that'll be super fun. Yeah. Get to show off your American Girl doll collection. We'll even, we're even going to have a special guest. So that's going to be super fun. Who is a collector of these dolls. So right on. Well, thanks for your help this week, Paul. Thank you. All right. We'll see you later. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.